up guys? We're Team Billy, I'm Frank, and I'm a computer engineering major, fifth year, and I worked on the vision of the robot. Hey guys, I'm Mike, um, I'm a senior computer engineering major, and I worked on the embedded systems for the robot. I'm James, um, second year transfer computer engineering major, I worked on navigation and a little bit of hardware. I'm Kenny, I'm a transfer third year computer science major, and I work on the Linux setup and network. What we've created is a mobile robotic system using a turtle bot that recognizes, tracks, and follows an RC helicopter. The turtle bot, which is a commercial off-the-shelf robot supplied by CSC 190, is a well-established system based on the Roomba vacuum cleaner and contains an onboard Microsoft Connect and netbook computer. We use the Connect to detect the RC helicopter in three-dimensional space using the Kinect's RGB camera in combination with its infrared depth sensing capabilities. Considering our budget, we chose to use a cheap $25 RC helicopter to accommodate for unfortunate aerial accidents. <laughs> the helicopter is remote controlled and doesn't have the capability of communicating its location to the turtle bot. It is a standalone device completely separate from the robotic system. The copter's location is determined by the robot using the Connect alone. Lastly, our robot has an LED indicator that is used to display the relative position of the RC helicopter in the camera frame of the Connect. This was implemented using an LED circuit and a Qualcomm Dragon Board development kit to drive the LEDs. So how does our robot work? Well, we use something called ROS that we learned through CSC 190. ROS stands for Robot Operating System. It is a set of software libraries and tools that help you build robot applications. ROS is totally free and open source. It provides you with from drivers to algorithms needed for any robotic projects. It provides you a framework based on peer-to-peer -to -peer topology. With ROS, we can set up a network composed of different computers. On the ROS network, we can have nodes which are processes that perform computation they can publish and subscribe to certain topics for sharing specific messages and data. Nodes can also communicate via services with request reply interactions. These nodes and all the parameters for them can be set by one command by calling the launch file. The launch files can be created and changed to start different nodes. Another perk of using ROS is that you can record and playback data. This is done by bag files. In our project, we log different flights of the helicopter into many bag files. ROS also provides lots of tools that can help you with your projects. One of the 3D visualization tools we extensively used is Arviz. With Arviz, we can view the sensor data through images, point clouds, and render robot poses and trajectories. The first six weeks of our CSC 190 was about learning these basics of ROS. The rest of the quarter, we dedicated our time in building our bot. Billy. The first thing we need to cover when talking about Billy is the computers that we used and how they were connected. In total, we used three computers, one on the TurtleBot and two base stations. These were all connected to the same network which was created using a mobile hotspot. The computer which is on the TurtleBot controlled the iRobot crate on the bottom of the TurtleBot and the Kinect sitting on top. It also ran the copter tracking algorithm, taking in data from the Kinect and then publishing a 3D point of where the RC helicopter is relative to the turtle bot. One of the devices reading in the data was the main base station, used to visualize the sensory feedback data. This allowed us to better observe what the turtle bot was seeing at any time and adjust the copter tracking algorithm to improve the detection rate. The main base station was also used to initialize and sort up all the turtle bot related nodes. This was done by remotely logging into the computer on TurtleBot through SSH and using a ROS launch file. The other base station was used to connect to the Dragon Board through SSH to launch the LED indicator program. This could have been done with a single base station, but we opted to use a separate machine because of how the Dragon Board required constant monitoring and it ran on an independent system from the TurtleBot. The TurtleBot is made up of two core components, the iRobot Create which provides us with a mobile base, and the Microsoft Connect, which provides depth and RGB video streams. 
we use these two streams to locate and track the RC copter in 3D. So how is this done? What you are seeing here is the final result of the tracking algorithm. The algorithm is processing log data and displaying the results through RViz. A 3D estimate of the copter is being published and represented as the pink 3D point in the camera coordinate frame. Before starting algorithm development, we made sure to log data of various scenarios and combinations of the TurtleBot being stationary, rotating, translating, and following, as well as the copter hovering, flying away, flying at, taking off, and performing zigzag patterns. These bag files allowed for quick algorithm testing and development. The algorithm works by subscribing to both the depth and RGB topics. Since the copter should be away and out in front of any walls or obstacles, we first segment based on the depth frame. Using the depth, we first find all the edges and contours in the scene to look for potential copter candidates. At any given orientation, the copter's bounding rectangle should be around the shape of a square or stout rectangle. This allows us to filter out false positives by shape. Besides shape, we can also filter based on scale. For example, a person is much bigger than our RC copter. With the depth stream of the Kinect, we know how far away our potential copter candidate is. We can then reproject its bounding rectangle by its average depth using the focal length, pixel widths, and center of the camera. This gives us an estimate of the candidate's perceived surface area as well as its 3D location. We then send these final candidates to the RGB stream to make sure they look like our copter. They are passed into a cascade classifier which was trained from hundreds of positive and negative copter images. If the candidate passes this final stage, it is determined to be our copter and its 3D point is published through ROS to the follower code. For the navigation or the follower code, we had to change the velocity of the bot depending on the 3D point given by the tracking algorithm. The depth of 3D point affects the linear speed of the turtle bot. So if the helicopter is farther away, the turtle ball will speed up in order to catch up to it. The horizontal coordinate affects the angular speed of the ball. So if the horizontal coordinate of the 3D point is positive, it will rotate the turtle ball in one way, and if negative, the other way. With these configurations, the new velocity is published to iRobot3. For safety, we added an algorithm to avoid walls when the turtle ball gets too close to one. We accomplished this by taking the average of the depth image and making the turtle ball stop when the average is lower than some value. We implemented an LED array to display the relative position of the RC helicopter in the frame of the Kinex camera in real time. This was done by creating a ROS node that subscribes to a topic which publishes the relative X coordinate position of the RC helicopter in the camera frame. Using the helicopter's position data, we then implemented a state machine that would trigger the general purpose input output pins of the Dragon Board corresponding to the position of the helicopter. Since the GPIOs of the Dragon Board couldn't supply enough voltage to power the LEDs, we instead implemented a BJT controlled LED circuit in which the GPIOs were used to control the base of the BJTs. This allows the GPIOs to control the LED circuit like a switch. <laughs> I just realized we're not even sitting in the billy order. Should we sit in the billy order? Maybe. Ready? Okay. Take.